Apple has announced its latest gaudy AI, which is a generative algorithm that turns text into 3D scenes. Apple's AI processes the distribution of realistic and complex 3D images to render scenes with a sense of depth. Apple demonstrates that Gaudi has the highest performance available when used in an unconditional generative mode for multiple datasets. It also allows for the conditional generation of 3D scenes based on variables such as sparse images or texts that describe the scene. The so-called neural rendering technology brings the power of artificial intelligence into computer graphics. For example, AI scientists at NVIDIA show how 3D models are made by using photos, and similarly, Google is using neural radiance fields, also known as NERS, to create immersive view or to render humans. At present, neural radiance fields have been primarily employed as a memory medium to store 3D images and scenes that can later be rendered from various camera angles. This is how frequently displayed camera movements in the room or around objects are generated. Initial tests for virtual reality experiences are also in progress. However, what if the capability of neural radiance fields to render photos realistically at various angles could be utilized to develop artificial intelligence? AI systems such as the DAL2 from OpenAI and Google's Imogen and Party demonstrate the potential of generative AI that can be controlled but they are only applicable for 2D graphics and images. Extending generative AI to completely unconstrained 3D environments was an unsolved challenge until now. One reason is the limitations of possible camera positions. For one object, any feasible camera position could be represented as the shape of a dome for 3D models, these camera positions are restricted by obstacles such as walls and objects. If they aren't taken into consideration in the process of creating the scene, then the 3D scene generated won't be usable. Apple's Gaudi AI model tackles this issue by using three special networks, which are the camera position decoder, the scene decoder, and the decoder for the radiance field. The camera's position decoder provides predictions of possible camera positions and makes sure that the output is in fact a valid position that is compatible with the design of the 3D model. A scene decoder will predict the triplane representation. It is a form of 3D canvas upon which the decoder for the radiance field renders the image by using an equation for volumetric rendering. In tests, with various datasets of collections of indoor scans, researchers demonstrate that Gaudi can recreate learned views and is able to match the performance of other approaches. The Gaudi AI model allows for both conditional and unconditional generation of 3D scenes. The model is a generalization of previous work that has focused on just one object or scene. New hardware allows AI to perform one million times faster than the human brain while using much less energy. Engineers developing analog deep learning systems have discovered a method of propelling protons through solids with unprecedented speed. As researchers push the limits of machine learning, the requirements of energy, time, and cash needed to build increasingly sophisticated neural network models is soaring. A new field of artificial intelligence known as analog deep learning is promising much faster computation while consuming a much smaller amount of energy. Programmable resistors are one of the main elements of analog deep learning, as transistors are the essential components for digital processors. By repeating an array of programmable resistors within intricate layers, researchers are able to develop a network composed of analog synthetic neurons and synapses that perform computations in the same way as a digital neural network. This network is developed to perform complicated AI tasks such as natural language recognition and image processing. A multidisciplinary group of MIT researchers decided to test the speed limits of an analog synapse which they had previously designed. They used inorganic materials in their fabrication process that allowed their devices to function one million times quicker than prior versions. To note, this is around one million times more efficient than the synapses that are found in humans' brains. Additionally, this inorganic material is also a great way to make the resistor efficient in terms of energy usage. In contrast to the materials that were employed in the older versions of the devices, the new one is compatible with methods of fabrication using silicon. This has allowed the fabrication of devices that are nanometers in size and could open the way for the integration of the commercial computing hardware used for deep learning applications.
These programmable resistors dramatically improve the speed in which a neural network can be developed, thus dramatically cutting the expense and energy for the process of training. Along with helping researchers build deep learning models much faster, these methods could later be used in applications such as self-driving vehicles, fraud detection, or imaging analysis for medical purposes. The main component of MIT latest algorithmic processors is referred to as a protonic programmable resistor. The resistors are placed in an array similar to a chessboard. For this latest processor, expanding and reducing the conductance of electrical protonic resistors allows the machine to learn in an analog manner. Conductance can be controlled by protons movement. To boost the conductance, more protons are put into an opening in the resistor. To lower conductance, protons are taken out. This is done with an electrolyte which conducts protons but does not allow electrons to pass through. To create this super-fast, highly efficient protonic resistor, a variety of materials such as the electrolyte were considered. One was an organic porous glass called phosphosilicate or PSG. PSG is essentially silicon dioxide. It is the powdery desiccant substance found in small bags which are placed in a box that contains new furniture that removes condensation. It has been found to be a proton conductor when in humid conditions. To create PSG, it is made by adding a small amount of phosphorus to the silicon in order to give the specific characteristics needed to facilitate proton conduction. PSG can facilitate ultra-fast proton motion because it has a variety of nanometer-sized pores that offer pathways that allow for the diffusion of protons. It is also able to withstand extremely powerful electric fields that are pulsed. This is crucial because applying greater power to the system allows protons to move at speeds that are blinding. Because protons don't harm the materials, it is able to run for millions of cycles without breaking down. The new electrolyte has enabled a programmable protonic resistor which performs 1 million times faster than its predecessor. It is also able to operate at room temperature, which is essential for its integration into computer hardware. Because of the insulating qualities of PSG, nearly none of the electric current flows through the material as the protons are moving. After the researchers have shown the efficiency of these programmable resistors, they are now planning on redesigning them for large-scale manufacturing. They will examine the properties of arrays of resistors and increase their size so that they can be integrated into computer systems. In addition, they are planning to research the materials to eliminate obstacles that restrict the voltage required for the efficient transfer of protons into, through, and out of the electrolyte. This research has led to a significant advancement in the field of biologically inspired resistive memory devices. These protonic devices are all solid state and are based on the most precise atomic scale control of protons, which are comparable to synapses found in nature, just with much faster performance. Make sure to like, subscribe, and enable the notification bell for the latest news in artificial intelligence, robotics, and brain computer interface. And thanks for watching.